hi, you should be on one view. So your screen should look somewhat similar to mine. Mine's a little different because mine's in teacher mode. But Mrs. Browning's going to pause the video if there's anyone who needs more time to make sure that you are on your one view screen. So you're on one view, go to your classes and click on this period so that you're on our quote unquote class site. So you can see that I'm on first period's class site. Scroll down somewhere in this area you will have a link that says click here to open class notebook. This is your OneNote digital notebook and it will look similar to this. It may take longer for yours to open because this is the first time you're opening it this year, but it will speed up. OneNote is manufactured and kept up through Microsoft, so it works really well. It is a place where I can upload all of the documents that we use in class. I can upload short stories or excerpts that we read. I can upload um, assignments for you to do, and you can work in OneNote, and so I can see everything that you're doing. So let's go over just the basic outline. It looks a lot like Microsoft Word because same developer. Over here on the left, you see something that says Content Library. Click. Click that. The Content Library, think of it as a filing cabinet. This is where I can drop things in into the filing cabinet that you will need to access. You cannot edit anything in the content library. It is a place where I store things for you. You can copy things out of the content library and put them in your own personal folder, but everything here, think of it as like a resource filing cabinet. So you see some tabs, quarter one, ABLs, journey journals, data. I will add tabs as the year goes on. So quarter one is where we will be working for the next six weeks. Writing a paragraph. The pages below will guide you in writing a paragraph. So I've already uploaded for you the paragraph plan, which Mrs. Browning has gone over or will be going over, the rubric, for your first analytical paragraph. You see that it is a quiz grade. And I put some older documents in there from The Alchemist just to show you that this is what you will now be using as your filing cabinet or your resources. So as the quarter goes on, I will continue to add pages here for you. Now let's click on ABLs. So under this tab, I will continue to add anything we may need. So on the first page, due dates, it reminds you of when your pages are due. And after September, so for the October date, you will be using my ABL form. And so there's a link to it here. It says click to follow the link. Click on Journey Journals. This is where there is information about how to do your journey journal. And remember, this happens once a month. You're documenting your journey as the year goes on. I hold on to all of them, and you get them back at the end of the year so you can see your eighth grade journey. Let's look at data. This is where you'll keep track of your progress this year. So we have an Achieve Lexile chart, so we're well aware of where we are on that track. You have a data chart where you're going to keep track of your progress as the year goes on because that's what smart people do. They keep track of what they're doing. 
Now this is a place where my screen looks a little different than yours. Since I'm the teacher, I have all of your folders. If you look over here at the left, I've got everybody. So I can go in and see everyone's work. You will only have your name underneath here. So I'm going to use Emmy's. Thank you, Emmy. You click on your name. Because remember, content library, you can't edit anything in the content library. That is where I give you items for your resources. For your own personal use. You can copy and paste things out and then edit them. But anything in there, you can't edit. Anything in your folder, so here I'm over here, I'm in Emmy's now. Yes, you can edit. And look, she has all of the same things from the content library. That's because I went ahead and put them in your folder too, so that you would have them in either place. Now, this is where you are going to submit items. This is where you're going to sometimes do an assignment. For example, I know that you did your Alchemist study guide on a piece of paper and turned in, but the next time you're going to do your study guide in OneNote because I will have dropped it in and then you can go in and give an answer. Okay, you see. And then I can see everything that you do in your folder. So this writing assignment, the paragraph that you're working on, you're going to do it in, you're going to write your paragraph in OneNote. And I'm going to grade it in OneNote using this rubric that I've already given to you. And so there will be a page that will say paragraph, and that's where you're going to write it. So all of quarter one will be here. There's no submit button when you're done. It'll just, whenever there's the due date, I will look the next day. So I will expect that you will have done it. If you look at the top here, this is very similar to Microsoft Word. You have where you change your fonts. You've got colors. I like when answers are highlighted because it's easier for me to see. You have spelling um, checks. You can tag things. It's really great if you need to insert a link. Stickers, there's forms, there's all kinds of things. If you need to draw on the page, so sometimes I may draw and do check marks to say, yes, you did something right. Very good. And remember, you can work in your folder. The content library is only for you to access, not work. Things save automatically, so there's no need for you to save anything. It saves automatically. If you have any questions that Mrs. Browning can't answer, then you can email me or she will email me and ask. But she's going to give you a, um, a few minutes to click around and to get familiar with this.